Okay, today I'm going to cover uh, the manufacture of top bar hives, how I do it. Um, I'm a little overdue uh, for doing some cutouts. There's five cutouts I have to do, so that's five hives I've got to hive. So let me go through the process of what I'm doing. Uh, first, I'm starting with a 1x10 store bot. I've got a lot of fence planks that are left over from a neighbor's fence that had their fence redone. That's my main lumber source. And I take these, I cut the end piece from the 1x10, drill a 2 inch hole, and start putting the fence planks uh, about 44 inches to 48 inches on the side. And the bottom there is uh, eight, uh, number 8 hardware cloth, which is 8 squares to the inch. Uh, this is part of my Varroa Mite IPM, Integrated Pest Management System. Uh, from here, we cut top bars. The top bars can be either made from the fence post, uh, the fence planks that I've cut into the right size. I tend to like one and a half inch because the brood nest tends to be one and three eighths to one and a quarter inch. And then once they get past the brood nest, they on their own widen out their combs to one and a half to one and five eighths. Uh, for the lids of the top bar hive, I have been drifting towards uh, these political signs. Uh, it's just signboard. It's hollow. It's light. It's fairly weather resistant. And um, if you can get your hands on it, you can pick them up after an election, and they're fairly cheap. Now these lower uh, hives are untreated wood. Uh, what I'm going to try to do today is uh, take some boiled linseed oil and some wax, heat it up, and paint these things up so they can get treated, so they can last out the elements. Uh, the fence planks have already been painted, so that gives me some protection. I just have to make sure the ends are painted. Uh, this one I had fun with, I just painted it with red paint. Uh, we'll see what I can do with the rest. Okay, here I'm about to start up the uh, preservative concoction. Boiled linseed oil on its own will preserve wood, but it's better if you add beeswax to it. I've just got uh, some beeswax. Uh, I've not used the beeswax before in the linseed oil, but I've read about it, so I'm going to use it this time. It's supposed to be about 5, 10, or 15 percent um, by weight. I'm going to throw it in there, uh, melt it under low heat, and when it gets melted, I can then start uh, painting the stuff on the the wood part of the uh, top bar hives and the ends. I am not painting the inside of the hive at all for any reason and I gotta get to it. Okay under low heat most of the beeswax is melted with uh, very low heat with a fire extinguisher nearby and at this point I'm about to get ready to start painting with this. So hang tight and I'll get back with you when this thing is ready. Okay I'm back it didn't take even a quart to paint uh, four of these. Really only painted four ends and two sides. You can see how it's still wet and shiny. Um, again, this is just for weatherproofing. It's not to be pretty, it's not to be aesthetics. It's gonna be globby. It went on fast. It's gonna dry in a few days. Uh, you can see here that uh, it's still wet to the touch. Uh, I'm going to give it mm, probably a week to cure. Linseed oil is supposed to dry within 24, 48 hours. Boiled linseed oil. Wet linseed oil is going to take weeks apparently. But I'm pleased with how it happened. I'm pleased with uh, how it applied. We'll see how well it weatherproofs. I also painted the edges of the cut boards Ooh, back in focus. Edges of the cut boards to make sure that uh, they're going to be protected from absorbing moisture and rotting on the edge because that's where you're going to have failure is where the nails apply stress to the boards if you ever, if I ever move these hives, which I suspect the hives in the course of their life will be moved once or two times in, in probably six, seven years. Uh, and I didn't do anything on the tops. Uh, that's it. Okay, uh, there's some people been asking about the top bar hive construction, uh, how I do my bars. 
Uh, my bars are done very simply. I've done them two ways. The way I like is I cut the bar to exactly uh, the dimensions I need, and then I use a soldering iron and I melt beeswax along a fairly decent line uh, down the middle center. And what that does is it gives them a guide as to where to go. Uh, also, if I had more time and I wasn't trying to build so many so fast, I'd actually uh, melt beeswax, soak a string in it, and line the string along this, and that will improve their ability to uh, build a straight comb along the top bar. But I'm a little short on time. I've been out of the country for a half a month, and um, I need to get this stuff built and build it quick. Uh, also, it's swarm season, so I could have a swarm any day now since I volunteer at the local uh, fire department. And that's all.